Grand Forks and the state of North Dakota are truly the perfect place for unmanned aircraft systems. And it's because we have every piece of the drone jigsaw puzzle. All the historic firsts in aviation and, and UAS are really coming out of Grand Forks. There's innovation that is on a level that is unprecedented anywhere in the world. When I think of why Grand Forks and why North Dakota, there's a population that comes to mind. The future of UAS and Grand Forks is very bright because of the people that are here, the systems that are already in place, and the general ecosystem that supports the UAS industry. Grand Sky is the reason that we are here. Vantis, the Test Range, Grand Sky, and the University of North Dakota. Collaboration and innovation. The future of UAS and Grand Forks is bright. I see an ecosystem ready to thrive. I would say that everything starts with, number one, the Grand Forks Air Force Base. From that, our entire UAS ecosystem stems. We have UAS attorneys, we have UAS service providers, we have UAS research entities, we have Grand Sky, which is the only of its kind in the country. We have the huge manufacturers in the North of Grumman and the General Atomics. We're starting to see the small manufacturers coming in, and you just don't see this in a different ecosystem. The word no is not in the vocabulary of the UAS integration team here in the state. It is a welcoming environment, there's collaboration, there's innovation that is on a level that is unprecedented anywhere in the world. Grand Forks believed in me, my co-founders. Without that belief, without a willingness to win, enter into the unknown, I would not be sitting in front of you today. The linchpin for EyeSight has been the conduit of trained operators and pilots coming out of UND who essentially are plug and play. If you look at Grand Forks historically, all the historic firsts in aviation and, and UAS are really coming out of Grand Forks. Um, you've got the Vantis program, the first statewide network for UAS monitoring operations. Uh, the first transatlantic drone flight came out of Grand Forks with the Air Force Base here. Um, you have the first commercial drone park with Grand Sky. So, you know, if you want to be on the cutting edge of drone technology, you have to be in Grand Forks. We collaborate really, really well here in, in Grand Forks. Um, we know our policymakers. we know our legislators. We've been able to meet directly with representatives and senators and talk about UAS and the future of that industry. Um, they've been incredibly engaged um, and they really seem to understand the technology well and have a passion for it, which is great for the industry. You're getting a taste of the future today. That future begins here, but moreover, we're shaping that future. In 10 years, I think we're gonna grow. I think the Grand Sky Park is gonna grow. Uh, it's not gonna look anything like what it looks like now. Uh, we're going to have more partners, more uh, participants in the ecosystem uh, to make this bigger and better and greater uh, going into the future. Why Grand Forks? Why not Grand Forks?